good day everyone in this video we will be discussing the physiotherapy in pulmonary surgeries as discussed in the previous videos the pulmonary surgeries include pneumectomy lobectomy pleural surgeries segmental resection wedge resection and thoracoplasty so discussing about the pneumectomy this involves the removal of entire lung also a radical pneumectomy includes excision of medial spinal gland with dissection from the chest wall now main indications are carcinoma infection trauma bronchiectasis and tuberculosis incision usually used is the posterior lateral thoracotomy now talking about the physiotherapy management in the preoperative physiotherapy management the basic aims are to gain the patient's confidence to clear the lung fields to teach respiratory control or the breathing pattern to the patient teach the patient about the posture awareness teach arm trunk leg exercises and other mobility exercises and explain about the transfers after the surgery so in pre operative phase we have to explain each and every concept to the patient now in post operative phase main aim is uh, the scoliotic posture correction we have to clear all the secretions from the remaining lung and we have to retain the full expansion of the remaining lung tissue we have to prevent the circulatory complications the wound complications have to be prevented we have to maintain the good posture and we have to restore the exercise tolerance of the patient now the post operative treatment mainly on the day of operation that is day 0 patient is in the half lying with pillows arranged behind the neck and back so mild expansion breathing exercises for all areas of the lung could be done and foot and ankle exercises to prevent any circulatory complications like dvt should be performed then is day 1 so patient is in half lying segmental expansion exercises shaking or vibration as necessary could be given huffing and expectoration with wound support should be done by the end of the day patient should be huffing with self support then the foot and ankle exercises are to be continued we should try to correct the posture so that the scoliosis on the scar side is to be prevented so we should emphasize on the correct posture then short frequent sessions are better than the few long ones also the arm on the affected side it must be moved in the available range of motion and a rope ladder should be provided so that the patient can pull on it to move around in bed on day 2 the treatment is continued with more sessions than sitting on the edge of the bed trunk mobility exercises like trunk turning bending side to side sitting in the chair walk around the bed with the trunk erect on day 3 the breathing and huffing exercises should be continued along with the other activities twice a day and the patient can join in a group therapy session on day 4 post operatively from the day 4 till the discharge we patient continues with the therapy and after seventh day patient practices stair climbing with breathing control and bilateral breathing trunk and arm exercises are essential stitches they are removed after 7 to 10 days of the operation and patient is advised to carry out therapy after discharge for better results of uh, lung field clearance postural drainage should be taught but without tipping to avoid the danger of the bronco pleural fistula and in the long term management 
the patient should check exercise tolerance posture trunk and shoulder mobility so that the patient may have home activity program adjusted accordingly the fluid in the cavity left by removal of lung it gradually fills up but must not reach the level of stump before it has healed in 10 to 14 days so slowly it will fill the whole cavity and become organized and fibrosed from the base to the apex over a two years of period so it is important that the patient should continue the thoracic mobility exercises on regular basis for at least this period of time now there may be unavoidable damage in pneumatic tummy to the phrenic nerve which could result in the paralysis of half of the diaphragm or to the recurrent laryngeal nerve which is the branch of the vagus nerve and it can result in the inability to approximate the vocal cords so both these complications they impair respiration and coughing so we need to check these complications while giving the treatment so this is the treatment for pneumatic tummy while writing the treatment plan of uh, pulmonary surgeries either you can follow the day wise plan like day 0 day 1 day 2 or you can mention the techniques all together along with mentioning the aims pre operative and post operative you can uh, mention the basic techniques you are going to give in post operative treatment this day uh, day wise protocol it is always patient specific and this is a journalized treatment for the writer or for the written part for the exams so when practically the patient's capacity will be seen beforehand to see that whether he or she is capable of performing those activities or not on day 0 or day 1 thank you